Hey, Gemini gang. I hope you guys are doing well on this lovely Monday. Let's see what's going on, y'all. All Gemini placements. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Take it how it resonates with you in your situation. Personal readings are in the description box on the website. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. All right. Let's see what's going on, Gemini. All right, playfulness flips out. So far, so good. Whoa, Gemini's. Lots of energy. Yikes. Um, okay, so I'm seeing codependency, heart to heart, worth waiting for. I'll take honeymoon because it's on the top. Then I'm seeing release your ex, finance and career, new love. energy today and that new love comes out again Ooh, -wee, gemini's flirts on the bottom okay so i'm kind of seeing where this is going to go all right let's see what's going on i'm seeing the devil on the bottom so yeah <laughs> It's like the energy stuck, Gemini. So you may be dealing with someone that is wanting to communicate with you. Yeah, when I look down, I see the Knight of Cups. Someone might be wanting to communicate with you, but they don't know how. Yep, I'm seeing the Knight of Cups again with the King of Cups. Okay, could be a Scorpio. Some of you meet. I feel like some of you guys are just exploring your options, Gemini's. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, I'll take the top one. Three of Wands. You might be someone at a distance from you. Gemini's, uh, I feel like heavily a lot of you are going to end up needing to have a choice. Oh, the Queen of Cups is on the bottom. So, um, one of these people is a, a divine counterpart, or they both can be. They both can be soulmates, um, Gemini's. But I feel like some of you may meet someone at a distance, or someone's at a distance from you. But also, be you traveling as well, Gemini's. You can meet someone while you're traveling. Oh, wow. Really, Gemini's? So we have the Two of Cups. The Six. See, I'm seeing heavy travel. And the Eight of Pentacles. With the Eight of Cups on the bottom. Mm -mm. So you are about to meet someone, Gemini's. Now, I'm not sure if this is someone you know. Or if this is a totally new person. But new love is here. With the Two of Cups under it Gemini's okay so I feel like some of you guys are going to meet a whole new person take it how it resonates and I feel like for some of you it's you're going to meet them while you're traveling yeah someone at a distance from you or someone you work with so say you do like a work trip or whatever and um you go to like a different facility and you may meet someone there uh gemini's mm -mm. i knew it i knew it the king of pentacles with the ten of wands on the bottom yeah Gemini's, I feel like, once again, there's more than one person here. It's what I usually pick up for you. What I've been picking up for you guys recently. Of there being more than one person in your energy. Gemini's, and if this hasn't happened yet, I feel like it will. Yeah, I told you, Page of Cups. I knew it. Some of you have a new person. Now, it could be, for some of you, like a person that you stopped talking to. And they're coming back. That's that's a possibility as well. But I'm seeing Gemini's you're walking away from one thing and right into something else. Or you want to walk away from something or someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Gemini's. <laughs> 
Seven of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Knight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I feel like Gemini's number one, there's more than one person here for you. You're exploring your options. That's what I'm seeing. And I feel like you are going to um, find exactly what you're looking for. Yep. Some of you too might be, uh, with the Seven of Cups, you might not know who to choose as well. Like you may not know which one you want but I'm seeing we saw the seven of cups earlier some of you are exploring your options Gemini there's nothing wrong with that like do it do you Gemini's um but I feel like in the midst of you exploring your options and having fun and enjoying life that's when you're going to meet someone Gemini's I feel like it's either when you're traveling or when you're working or traveling for work or something along the lines of that um uh, Gemini, someone that's stable, some that, someone that's financially stable, emotionally stable. Um, I do see someone here younger than you as well. Gemini's. I also see someone here that's not that's not totally ready. Thank you, spirit. Five of cups on the bottom. This confirmed it. One of these is a past person, and I feel like somebody's not totally ready to release you uh gemini's whoever this other energy is is not totally ready to release you when i look down i see this so i feel like um yeah someone's not too fond of you uh man cards going everywhere yeah that's what i thought knight of swords you have someone that's younger than you gemini's or they just act younger than you what fell on the floor was a nine of pentacles and the strength card so I feel like there's eight of pentacles again. <laughs> Someone has Virgo in their chart, Gemini. But I feel like someone's going to come in and keep you from moving on. It's almost as if, and I know this isn't going to be resonate for everyone, but it's almost as if someone is wanting to like barge in on whatever you have going on. I'm getting an image in my head of, of you like standing at the altar, like getting ready to get married, and then this person just barges in. And I was like, no, stop. <laughs> yeah, Gemini's. I feel like you have someone here that um, isn't going to just let you leave them alone, uh, Gemini's. I feel like this is someone too that again you two may have stopped talking or you two may have come to some type of agreement that um y'all would explore y'all's options or y'all not serious or whatever 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 and i feel like this person is is not really feeling it baby if i can mm, i cannot make this shit up i can't make this shit up i just can't i <laughs> We saw the devil earlier, remember? Yeah. Y'all. Mm -mm. The devil comes out. The ten of swords. Mm -hmm. The king of swords. I told you someone. You ended something with some, someone and they don't want you to end it. Someone is obsessed over you, Gemini. Someone's like legit obsessed. They do a good job at hiding it though. They do a really good job hiding it. But baby, Listen. Again, I don't know. Take this how it resonates. And it doesn't have to be anything angry or combative. But I, I'm seeing like someone is aggressive. Like this is a very aggressive energy here. Yeah. Someone does not want you to end things. Could be an Aquarius, a Capricorn, a Gemini like you, a Scorpio, a Taurus, a Pisces. Either one of those. Uh, Gemini or an, an Aries with the Queen of Wands on the bottom but again with this I feel like this person is super attracted to you I'm seeing three kings here a knight and a page a two knights and a page Gemini I've seen a lot of energies here for you as usual but um, I feel like one of these energies is just someone that's not they're not just they're not going to go down without a fight period now, just because I say that they seem um, aggressive, it doesn't necessarily mean that they'll try to fight or anything like that. For some of you, they will. For some of you, they are going to legit try to start an argument with you. 
For some of you, they may even bring up some of these other options. The Nine of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are really enjoying like your single, your singleness. I feel like this person may have tried to like, I don't want to say string you along. I feel like this person didn't expect you to be happy single. That's, that's what I'm getting. I feel like this person just kind of expected you to, you know, be miserable without them and everything. And I feel like that's not, it's not going the way that they thought it was going to go. <laughs> Because I feel like y'all just out here doing you. You out here looking good, you know, enjoying life. You're not really tripping on them. And I feel like that's bothering them a little bit. Because that's not what they expected, Jemai. This person didn't expect you to uh, move on. And now that you are, it's kind of like, oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let me get a couple more clarifiers. So when I look over, I forgot to pick this card up. The Ace of Cups. So I feel like Gemini's, um, I feel like, first of all, you have several low offers. That's what I'm seeing. You have several offers here. You have one in particular, though, that isn't, um, that isn't willing to release you. And they're not happy with how well you're doing on your own, Gemini's. They're just not. They're not happy with how happy you are on your own either. Because it's a complete opposite for them. Baby, what did I tell you, Gemini's? What did I tell you? <laughs> you better be careful with this one because, listen, this person has something up their sleeve, honey. This person has something up their sleeve. I also feel like, too, Gemini's, that if you two did have a fallout with this person, I feel like the Seven of Swords can be about um, dodging stuff, dodging something. And I see this a lot for certain people. When I do readings on people, I get this card a lot for them. And usually when it comes out for them, it comes out as this person dodging something. Like they did some bullshit. And so they disappeared for a little bit and they come back like nothing's happened. That's what I feel like some of you, this person's going to do. Come back like nothing's happened. Like they didn't just tell you to move on. Or they didn't just tell you that they didn't want a relationship. Or they didn't just tell you, you know, um, you know, I want to be single or whatever the case may be. They're going to come back and be like, hey, boo, hey, baby. What's up? I told you. <laughs> I told you, you're going to get right on that ass, too. <laughs> the Wheel of Fortune mm -hmm. and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you're going to get right on that ass, too. Page of Swords. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Gemini's, get on that ass. I feel like, Gemini's, you are kind of to the point where you're not playing with this person. And they, they know that. Don't let this person dodge... Uh, Dodge accountability, dodge what happened between you two, because I feel like that's what they're going to do, that they're going to come back and they're going to like try to strike up a conversation like nothing happened between you two. Yeah. And like I said, I feel like Gemini's heavily um, that this person didn't expect you to be happy without them. Like they didn't have they didn't expect you to be happy, single or whatever the case may be. So the little games and stuff they've been playing is backfiring on them. Let me get some love handwritten's. So cutting the deck. Y'all know I like to cut the deck when I pick it up. I'm jealous. I want you to myself. Yeah, that's pretty much that devil energy. Gemini, this person's obsessed. And I feel like they do a really good job at hiding it. But this person's a lot more obsessed with you than you realize. Gemini's. And they think they're slick, and they're not. I feel like, too, a lot of you called them out on that shit, too. They, you called them out on their bullshit. You called this person's bluff for a lot of you. Because I feel like a lot of you guys, this person may have told you that it was over. Or they may have told you that they didn't want a relationship. Or they told you that, you know, they didn't want you for some of you. And you just moved on. You may have been hurt or whatever, but you moved on. And now they're like, okay, well, damn, that didn't work. So, <laughs> I do, the bright side of this, Gemini's, I will say this, I do see a change with this person. 
I do see this person is going to attempt to change because they do want to be with you. I do feel like they are genuine when they want to be with you. However, they go about things in a fucked up way. They go about things in a very avoided. This person avoids uh, accountability. You're going to have to stay on their ass, Gemini, with that Queen of Swords. Yeah, I'm seeing over by lucky day. This person may have told you they were done with you or something, uh, Gemini's, and now they're back. Like, it's like, I thought you said you were done, but I feel like they, they did that as a game. Like, they did that as to try to get you to chase or whatever the case may be, and it backfired. It better not be someone else. <laughs> lordy 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 oh well yep fear of sensual intimacy yeah that could also be what they're dodging this person dodges things this person's a runner i feel like they're not running anymore though they can't because at this point you're not playing with them and i feel like for a lot of you there's other people in the picture or they feel like it is told you i see marriage with you 16 16 on the clock I told you, Geminis, this person has always wanted you, no matter what they've said. They may have told you that they did it, and they may have told you that it's not working out, but all that was a game. They were playing games. <clears throat> you think I'm going to let you go that easily? Yeah, no. They're fucking obsessed. There's nobody else like you. Yeah. <laughs> Manifest from the heart. Mm-hmm. Do I ever by Tony Stiff. See, that song is like, Pretty much talking about does do you ever think about them or whatever the case may be. You deserve much better than me. Mm -hmm. Can't Let Go by Anthony Hamilton. Let me cut the deck a couple of times. Please hear me out. I told you. I told you this, this person did or said some bullshit. You were the best thing that ever happened to me. All right, Gemini's. That's y'all's reading. If it resonated, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Peace out.